It looked like the perfect property to rent for their family of five, a big house in the Bahamas for one week over Christmas, posted on the VRBO Vacation Rentals by Owner website. It was going to be a terrific holiday. When they got there, that luxury villa was a dump. It was 100% ramshackle. The, everything was rotten. The fences were, were falling in. The patio furniture was in the pool. The, the doors were off their hinges. I look on the wall and there is a cockroach that is two inches long that is, is scuttling along the wall. And what I realized is that, is that after seeing the cockroach that the place was infested with cockroaches and that was, the, that was their feces in the, uh, in the cupboards. The couple did a lot of research before putting down more than $10,000 U.S. They also relied heavily on online reviews. The reviews were fantastic place, want to go back every year, can't believe how gorgeous it is. So Go Public did a test and found we could easily post several fake five-star reviews for places we've never visited. We only wrote reviews for properties that already rated well so we wouldn't influence future bookings. It's enough to make us wonder about... CBC Marketplace recently looked at the issue of fake reviews and found inflating online credibility through fake reviews was common. In fact, an entirely new industry has popped up. For a small fee, Marketplace found almost anyone can get fake reviews, fake YouTube views and fake Twitter followers. In this case, VRBO says it's working to update its system to weed out more fake reviews. If it's possible to leave reviews on VRBO, of places that people haven't in fact stayed in, then that's a major failure because that's going to mean that that website is crawling with inauthentic reviews of listings. Home Away, which operates VRBO, says it's difficult to ensure complete authenticity, but it adds it believes most of its reviews are real. One month after we posted our fake reviews, VRBO pulled one of them down. As for the couple, the company says they won't be getting any of their money back because they failed to purchase a guarantee that was offered at the time. The couple says they were never given that option. Rosa Marcatelli, CBC News, Calgary.